So, Teacher Vance and Bobby Bear back again with Dakota Redstone, who's going to reveal some of his secrets here. Ta-da! It's a secret. It's a secret, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to say that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, I was just saying that even the bed is a secret. Ah. Well, that's a secret. Secret bed. Oh, no, behind these curtain here? Yeah. Oh, I, there's a bed back there. Wow. I never would have known. So you, you brought us all the way over to show us that? It's not a very good secret, which this warp is not a very good secret, because you just type slash warp, it's a secret. And it's clearly labeled on the map as a secret. So the whole point of these builds is for people to come and enjoy them. Uh, most people build their stuff for themselves, whereas I tend to do world building, whereas I'm building all these big fancy things for other people to come and enjoy. So when I uh, build these things and you clearly know that Dakota built them, um, if it doesn't say Dakota Redstone on the chess, it means they're community chess for you to uh, help yourself to. Now, the exception to that rule sometimes is when they're uh, set in the floor, but uh, not in this world. So, come into a Dakota build and the chest doesn't say Dakota Redstone on it. It's a community chest for you to help yourself to. Okay, here we go. It's a secret. I've got it there. Okay, on the map. That's great. Okay. So I have, well, I mean, there are coordinates here, but anyway. Um, So there's a whole town here. Mm -hmm. I haven't trained the villagers up much that yet, but there'll be villagers to trade with. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a bunch of trees uh, around the village, which you may cut if you like, but at the moment they're helping the villagers keep the monsters out. Uh, we don't need uh, trees. We've got a lot of trees. And just outside, there's a whole row of trees that were planted just for the sole purpose of being cut down. So oh, if you need okay. some wood, uh, out here you can see there's a whole row of trees just growing there saying cut me. Out here? How do you get out there? Is there a gap in the trees? Yep. Oh, here, it's, here it's you're a, here. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> did, you, did you find the secret gap, Bobby? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can see over here, there's a another row of trees that's uh, clearly not part of the defenses of the village. Okay. Well, that's nice to have a secret supply of lumber, just in case you need it. And there's all kinds of free-range farm animals out here, sheep to be uh, sheared and pigs and cows to be harvested. Oh, cats. Cats to be tamed. Oh, many cats to be tamed. Yeah. Bobby wants a cat. Now, she probably has her pick of choice of breeds here in town because their cat's gone wild. Yeah, she's uh, taken, she's, she's been breeding ducks, but she'd prefer to breed cats. I'm just noticing that where I think we are, I don't see our, I don't see our icons. Sh oh, here we are. No, I don't see our icons on the map. I mean, I don't see the physical icons showing. Do you have, uh, do you have my stream running in uh, Discord in the background? If you pop out to that for a second, you can see it. Okay, let me see. Uh, Yes. No, yes. No. Yeah, I do see the icons. Okay, so I can see where we are. Let me see. Uh, if I go to back to where I was on the map. Okay. Oh, yes, I see us. I think I see us. I see us. I okay. Gotten dark, so we'll want to uh, sleep. Okay. That's really odd. I don't see us unless we're... Hmm. 
Okay. Anyway, but you know, I was able to click on your name on the map, and it took me to the to the spot. Okay. So back in Minecraft, pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, we got to go inside somewhere. Um, I jumped in a bed, so one person sleeps sufficient to make it. Okay. And you can see the big gardens have not been fully planted yet, but eventually these will be full of vegetables to be harvested. Mm -hmm. oh. See, we have an Olympic-sized pool here. If you want to practice your swimming. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, let's see if I... Oh, I wonder if I've still got my armor here. I do. Oh, darn. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, maybe if I swim, it'll come off. <laughs> yeah. Now, one, one of the first big secrets in town is in the bottom of the Olympic-sized pool, there's an oversized drain. Uh-huh. And if you've got your armor and your weapons equipped, we can investigate the oversized drain. If I've got things equipped. But you'll want to do it quickly so you don't drown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to follow you. Okay. Every time I do this, I tend to drown. Uh, okay, so... Control and W, and you should go fast. Okay. Oh, I'm drowning. Um, okay. I just... I'm going to stop my screen because it's getting a little laggy. Yeah. I just uh, used the back button to get out of there. So, um, I'll TP to, to you again. Or to Bobby. To me? Yeah. I am out. Good. <laughs> um, it's such a hassle when you drown and then your death chest is down there. Mm -hmm. We could use your potions to help us breathe underwater. What, was uh, was there? I don't understand how to stay underwater without drowning. Um, you are almost through the door, and once you get through the drain, you're back in the air. Ah. So if I try it again, I can go back there and get through the drain and be back in air. And W, uh, shift W to go, or how would it make you go fast? Control W. Control W, okay. So control W would make me go fast. Okay, here we go. Oh, nope. Sorry, that didn't work, but it's okay. I'm back up the surface. Bobby, there's a zombie over there. Oh, that's why I'm losing hearts. Oh, oh, he's over. Oh, he's a skeleton, and he's at the other end of the pool. Oh, he's shooting at me. Yeah. Need help? No. Okay. No, oh, I keep, I keep losing. I'm not losing hearts. I'm losing bubbles. Okay, I got my bubbles back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to control W, but it's not working. Your screen is recorded to your left. Was I almost there? Couldn't see anything. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the problem. I... Okay. Uh, you could just teleport to me if you wanted. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Or actually, let me show you another secret. Okay, I'm... Uh... Coming to you. All right. Oh, where are we now? We're in a boat or something? No. Down to oh. something is weird is happening. What am I doing? I'm not sure. I don't see you. Uh huh. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, teleport to you. Okay, teleport. No, nothing's bad is happening. Okay. Oh, you're you're on the surface now. I was down. I was down. 
body is running away from me. <laughs> she probably thinks you're a skeleton. Sean, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I enjoy <laughs> being going through mouse traps. <laughs> I actually don't mind. It's just that uh, it's a hassle when you die and then you have to. Yeah, I, I hear you. <laughs> a guy down with a pig. Where are you? It could be a pig. That one's not. That one's not any. Um. Just, just go ahead and teleport to me. I think that's the best way out of this mess. To you, okay. You can if you want. You can teleport to me. And are you teleport to Dakota? Oh, we're back in the the place I was earlier. Okay. Yeah, you can. It's dark and scary, but. <laughs> okay, we're here. Now what? Follow the torches. This uh, opening right here is where the drain from the pool comes out. Ah, I see. So you go through the drain and then you come out here. Yep, and then there's this huge maze of tunnels to explore. But it, it's full of goodies, but it's also full of monsters because it's dark. And uh, of course, pitfalls <laughs> if you're not careful. Uh, yeah, well, I might be in a pitfall. I see some uh, arrows everywhere. Okay. And since it's Dakota build, it's worth giving. <laughs> the difficulty is. I'll be back in a minute. So I, f I fill in some water and uh, I'm just losing hearts pretty badly. I saw arrows, so I think I was being shot at. I have arrows in me. Did you go back up to Bobby? Hmm? Did you go back up to Bobby? Yeah. Okay, I'll, c I'll come to you then. Okay, she uh, she's helping me get rid of these arrows. <laughs> Do you need some carrots? Uh, no, I got carrots. And I'll close these gates so people don't fall in. Okay, um, let's look at another secret. Yeah, see. This one's a little, uh, a little easier. <laughs> it's just a hole in the wall. Okay, can you see where we went, Bobby? Wait, wait. Um, I'm next to you. No, where he went. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't come um, right away yeah, because yeah. I was eating oh, carrots. Right. Uh, no, that's Bobby. Okay, I'm just. How am I being transported? You're riding on Bobby. Here, I'll hold still. I'll take a screenshot. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm riding on Bobby's head. Oh, that's a good. That's a good way to eat carrots. Yeah. Okay. So I'll ride your head. You fall, You go after Dakota. He's right behind I'm you. On my head. <laughs> I'm on your. I'm on your head. Yeah. So that's a good trick. Okay. I must have hit a back or something or shift okay I'm still okay I guess I got enough carrots actually all right <laughs> huh. so this is a simple secret but I think it leads to the same uh, terrible maze of tunnels mm-hmm And then if we go out the uh, side of the village, there's a path. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oop, ran into a tree. Okay. All right. Are you with us, Bobby? Yeah. In this Bobby, this okay. is a bit more of a walk. Yeah. Uh, it's getting, it's, it's night time. I, we could fix it, yeah. <laughs> oh, you fixed it. <laughs> He's a magician with clocks. Okay, so this is uh, marked with torches. That's nice to know. We just made a path yesterday from a place that uh, Olive Tree had set up to this village that we all found, but it's very difficult to get to. So Bobby and I spent a little time and found the, made a path to it and marked it with torches. And of course, this is a beautiful little area to set up camp and have a snack or a picnic. But if you look back in this little alcove, mm -hmm. which is not easy to get to with this current. Uh huh. The deep dark secret. Okay. I hope everybody brought lots of potatoes. Yeah, we got carrots. Did you go under? Uh, I'm I'm putting torches up so that I can follow where Dakota is taking us. Uh, we went. Should I? I'll, oh, you can TP to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, I was. Just Going back for Bobby. Okay. Hope you don't mind my polluting your place with tunnels. Watch your step. Okay. Ooh, what was there? Skelly. Shut. He got the point. I think so. I didn't see it. Now, the lighting is not very good in here. I'm surprised you didn't put in a lot of uh, these little... Well, then the mobs wouldn't spawn. <laughs> oh, well, I'm s wouldn't spawn. I see. You, you're trying to make... You're trying to keep mobs... We're taking hard on that. <laughs> We're probably ruining the effect then by putting all these torches down. You're making it easy for people. That's fine. Everybody plays a different game. You're you're being nice and kind. I was not. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. See, okay, so we're anyway, up the stair. People will get the idea of who they want to come in and play with. <laughs> if they want an easy time of it, they'll want to come in and play with you and Bobby. If they want to die, yeah. lot, they want to die a lot, so they'll come in and play with me. <laughs> Yes, well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, you know, in these, we, we happen to be in, what did we call it? I can't remember, the Meaningful Play, um, EVO, Minecraft, EVO Minecraft MOOC 2021 Meaningful Play Adventure Safari Hangout. So we're hanging out with uh, Dakota. Is Dakota up ahead of you, Bobby? I don't know if there's something blue. Is that him? I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's Dakota. Yeah, this is his uh, shining sword there. Maybe my sessions could just be entitled Mean Play. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter, but, but you know, my, this is actually exactly what I had in mind for... Um, what is that up there? Just some more... Interesting little place to fish in, in there. Fish? Catch blind palefish and maybe find a guy that has a ring and likes riddles. Ah, okay. Th that person's name is Gollum. Is that right? Yeah, is that just, right? Or, or Snagle. Just whatever you do, don't take his ring. 
Ah, okay. It, it will end badly for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it will take a long day. Bobby is headed... Did he go back that way? He's right behind you. Ah, oh, there he is, okay. All right. <laughs> Bobby, li Bobby likes to play mean. She's not putting any torches down. Going upstairs. Going upstairs, okay. Another skelly. Uh-oh, here comes company. Uh, oh, zombie. Okay. Okay, now we're done. Oh. Dakota got an arrow this time. What? Dakota got an arrow this time. Yes, yeah, because he's in front. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll get the ones in the back and Dakota is okay. in the front. Ooh, what is this is cold. What level are we at? I'm just curious. F three, we are at level ninety. We're not low at all here. Okay. Oh, we've got choices now. We've got a narrow passage to the left. We've got stairs going up, and this passage continues on straight. Which way do we go? This is getting to be like a game. We keep telling people that Minecraft is not really a game. It's more like real life. We have we have decisions and not enough information to make it. Formed choice. Looks like there's a there's a uh, stairway going up as well. Well, I don't know. It looks kind of fun in here. Uh, a good sign. Hmm. More choices. Oh, geez. more choices. Four choices. I'm not sure this was the right way to go. <laughs> it's getting harder. Uh oh. I see company coming up the stairs. Coming up the stairs. Coming up the stairs behind us or ahead of us? You got it. Oh. What was that? Oh, I didn't see it. I would. Uh, is there something. Yeah. That wasn't one of those Neptune kind of monsters, was it? Yeah, it was a zombie, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, this this is easy. This is a dead end. Okay. So we can eliminate this as a choice. Hmm. But we don't want to fall back in this direction, or we'd be pinned. Maybe I should put the torch in there. What do you mean we'd be pinned? Uh, if if we were in a battle and we fell back here, we'd have no way out. Ah, I see. Okay. What did you find down the way you went? What battle? Battle? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I always assume the worst. Yeah. Okay. Let's... I always assume they were by a, a horde of zombies. Okay, here I've got my torches now. There's another dead end. No, it's not a dead end. Oh, the ceiling is made of dirt. I don't like the look of this. <laughs> oh, where are you? Oh, you're... Ceiling's made of dirt. Okay. Uh, hole in the floor with water in it. Uh-huh. Is, is that deep? Yeah, you could drown in that. Okay. Oh, there's a hole out to the sky. I can see blue sky. I don't see blue sky. Oh, yeah, I see blue sky. 
Oh, I, the thing I saw was your axe. Fell down the hole, you wouldn't die because you'd land in that water. You'd be trapped in the water? You no, know, if you didn't know how to swim, you would drown. Oh, uh huh. Space bar is swim for those who don't know how to swim. Oh, it's a test. See, so you think you know Minecraft? Oh, I'm doing that. The fall wouldn't kill you. The water would. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, so so there's that's a way in actually. You can come in here and hit the water, and then you would survive it. So there must be an in, the, that, that would be an entrance to the top up there. No, an entrance or a trap, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> but well, it would take you you're, down you're, here. You're, you're, if if there were no um, if there were no uh, torches, you would have a heck of a time finding your way out. That's for sure. Now, do you have a system for placing your torches? Like, I always try to place my torches on the right as I go in. That's a good idea. Um, I didn't really use a system. I, but I kind of, in some places, I turned one way in place, but that's a good idea. Red, right, returning kind of thing. And then, yeah, then as you're going to go out, the torches are on the left. But it, but it only... Uh, Everybody uses the same system. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Put the torches on the floor. It usually means that it's a, like a block, a dead end. Says so don't go this way. Oh, okay. All right. Well, shall we? Shall we exit? Or this is the way we. This is the, we're going further in. Oh, this goes to the outside. Oh, ah. Where does it go outside? Oh, that goes outside, I see. Ooh, and a reception committee. Behind me, no, I think I'm ahead of you. I came out. Uh, I don't see you, though. All roads lead to Rome, looks like. We're on the outside. Hmm? Oh, are you outside? You must have found another entrance, Vance. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Let me make it light out. You're uh, outside, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to tell where you are. It's a secret. Behind you now. Well, must be this end of the uh, tunnels are all entrances. Okay, so yeah, I'm outside. That's true. Yeah. Ah, fresh air. Whew. I thought I would never breathe oh, again. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful on this side. There's a nice walk over there. Yeah, nice. Oh, there's also a trap. Oh, where? Very carefully back out of here, there's a ceiling that's about to fall in and kill us. Oh, we should back out? Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's dangerous. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, we don't want to be under that ceiling. Now, how, why is that ceiling suddenly decided to give away? Um... It's possible when the world spawns for sand and gravel to have no visible means of support. Uh -huh. And as soon as you touch it, it will fall. Everybody's back here. Uh, what if we go straight here? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm down in the valley. Okay, so can you see me? Yeah, I just I just caved the gravel in so it won't kill somebody. Okay, I'm gonna just use a little uh, shovel on this dirt here. Is it okay if I hack our way out? Making some steps. Oh, there's steps over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. But we're still in the. I don't know if we feel safe there or not. Okay, so now over here, I'm out from under any overhangs. You're heading towards the valley by the village. Yay. Yay, so Bobby and I are up top. No, if we're on top, we win, right? Well, I don't know. If you stay on top, you win. <laughs> Trump was on top for a long time. I can see the village. The village. I don't see the village, but maybe it's, I'm staying in the wrong place. Let's see. If I go up here, can I see the village? It depends on uh, what your res is set to. Uh, my res distance might not be set properly. But it's it's behind that hill right there. Uh huh. Oh, oh yes, I see it. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So we found the dungeon, but we didn't find the secret. Oh. And what secret, you might ask? Shh, it's a secret. A hidden Easter egg. It might be one of the reasons that that village has so many shroom lights. Has so many what? Did you notice the orange lights that uh, light up the village? Uh... In the village itself, yes, uh-huh. I didn't pay much attention to them. I'm sad to say I'm not that observant or knowledgeable, one or the other. And I'll, I'll get an example here. And then people watching the stream will know what we're talking about. And people are watching the stream. Well, ah, there we go. <coughs> what is that now? It's a secret, but anybody that knows what that is will know what the secret is. Uh huh. Oh no, it's a. I, I'd have to collect it. Can I take it? Can I? Just one for Bobby. <laughs> Otherwise, I I wouldn't be able to examine it. Is, do we need anything in particular to take it? I believe you can break it with just about any tool, even your bare hand. All right, here we go. So the secret is. Shroom light. Dakota, I didn't know you did shrooms. They grow on trees. Ah. A special kind of tree that only grows in a certain place. Hmm. I see. Okay. So what happens if you try to eat one of these? I don't believe that you can. Hmm. That kind of shroom. Ah, okay. It's a medicinal shroom. Uh, utility shroom there for light. Ah, Bobby found a duck. Because it follows me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, all um, Can I keep it? I promise I'll take care of it. Yeah. You can take care of it. I have too many. Uh, Dakota left a bunch of chickens in one of my houses oh. <laughs> some time ago. I, it was just, it was a little pit <laughs> downstairs and it was full of chickens. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Do you want to go down to the village or where, or where should we go to find there's, these? I, I think there's one other secret that might be worth finding. We've shown people a good place to get, um, wood but we haven't shown them a good place to collect sand and rocks and that because sometimes it's nice to mine without wrecking the countryside so that it looks ugly mm -hmm. and if there's a place where somebody's already done that <laughs> like a strip mine you just make the strip mine a little bigger and you haven't heard anything uh -huh. and this village has made a strip mine hmm 
and we can show the way back to the village as well. Let's say we were here before. You see the kind of trail of torches that we left on the way out. Uh -huh. There's a pass. That's hopeful. Uh-oh, Bobby just yawned. I don't think it was from boredom. I think it was from getting kind of late. <laughs> there goes the crater running away from us, so we must be making a lot of noise. Okay. So this is kind of a normal mine where you could collect some things if you like this sort of mining. But if you don't like working in the dark where all the mobs are, there's an open pit mine. There's an open pit mine. Ah. Also known as a strip mine in the real world, but many people think of strip mine in Minecraft, they think of those long, narrow strips. Uh huh. So, a strip mine. Yep, they strip the land away, uh, usually done for coal mining, because they strip the, the overburden off the top so they can get to the coal seams. But I needed some sand, so I collected a bunch of sand, and then I needed a bunch of sandstone, so I collected the sandstone. Mm -hmm. When I mine, I take everything. It all has value. I leave nothing. So if someone's looking for a place to mine and collect some stuff, here's a good place to collect a lot of stuff. And then, of course, there's also some more wood being collected across. So what you mean is you've you've uh, mined things and then placed them here? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I just, like, if I need stuff to build with, you know, and I need a 100 or a 1,000 blocks, if you take a blocks out of some place, it leaves a big hole, which is a big thing. So I figured... This was out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That village is obviously very rich, and they must have taken their resources from someplace. So this is where they took them from. Mm. You found it like this, or you made it like this? Oh, I made it like this. So they left a huge star on the land, and that's one of the side effects of large-scale mining, is it destroys the environment. Mm -hmm. I, I believe in immersive <laughs> worlds. I, I model things. Okay. I like realism. Well, you know, my, the nice thing about Minecraft is it is what you want it to be. And I like to tell long, <laughs> involved stories. So I like to have nice... Uh, complicated backdrops to tell those stories against. Mm -hmm. So I spent long hours uh, creating them, but it's playful creation. It's not work for me. So, but the side effect of that is is there's a world built for other people to play in or work in if they <laughs> choose to view it that way. But um, that's one of the nice things for educators who. Uh, don't have the time to create a world to do their teaching in as there are other peoples in the Minecraft community who are more than happy to create those resources and collaborate with them. That's, uh, that's one of the many benefits of working in a community uh, as you inherit the resources that other people donate. So. Yeah, and your, your students can create as well. Uh, Rose wrote a, uh, an interesting blog post. I think she called it, uh, uh, what are we doing this week? Uh, some reflecting then and now on Minecraft, what she's learned. And uh, I left a comment because I had been rereading Mircea's blog. Uh, have, have you, you're familiar with MP and the, the famous uh, explorer, MP? goes by his initials. 
It's Mercedes' blog. Oh, the only thing I can remember is stuff that's in the form of a story. So. Mm -hmm. Well, it, that's exactly what he does. He tells what he does on the server, but he puts it in a, an interesting narrative, uh, whimsical kind of story that really makes interesting reading. So um, I think I've posted it. I, I must have posted it somewhere. So anyway, I should post it in Facebook. Well, no, you're not on Facebook. so. Um, but you're on Groups.io, so I guess I might have posted it there. I'm, I think I did. I, I made a, a post on Groups.io that refers to that blog. Uh, something that Tilly had posted. Tilly is one of our participants, Tilly Harrison. And she... Um, she is keeping a blog also and she was talking about uh, how she prefers to learn in this way uh, and not have things handed to her so um, I responded to it I think she said there's a learning theory in there somewhere uh, talking about how she her approach to Minecraft and so I I, I made a post to Groups IO. You're in Groups IO, right? I believe so. And uh, for those who are not familiar with me, uh, I have sleep apnea, and uh, the, the lack of oxygen at night deprives me of the ability to make short term memories uh, uh, involve the hippocampus and a bunch of other things. But anyway, um, the one way that I'm able to remember things is things that occur in the form of a story. And my theory to that, which also ties into my theory of education, um, is because of the tens of thousands of years of oral tradition, uh, our brains are wired to learn uh, things that are told in the form of a story. Uh, and so that's the way that I kind of teach. Uh, and now, because of my diversity issues if you want to voice it that way um, that's the only way that I can learn uh, and so that, that makes this particular uh, venue very useful for me personally uh, so that things that uh, are blogged about in the form of us you know told in the form of a story I'm uh, it's possible for me to absorb that whereas if it was just written uh, kind of as a normal dry, text document uh, it's much more difficult for me to absorb so uh, and of course if you went to groups io and you found the posts there are not many there are not many there just uh, the last one uh, last couple of posts one of them is uh, there's a theory in there some, there's a learning theory in there somewhere and find dakota's uh, not dakota's mircea's blog in there uh, click on that and you'll read some interesting stories so they certainly entertain me. That's one of the ways that this particular um, tool or toy, being Minecraft, uh, can be used uh, in the form for language education, is it creates a place uh, wh where people like to do things, and it creates things for them to write about or read about, um, which if you've ever taught language and you give an assignment, you know, write a composition. Oh, it's like you're stabbing them. Uh, and of course, their, their excuse is, I don't know what to write about. I don't have something. They have no end of things to write about. And it's stories want to tell. So they're motivated. And they do a much better job. They don't worry about word count. Oh, I got to 80 words. I'll just up there because I've done the minimum they want to tell the whole story and it follows a proper narrative form because they want to do it um, so you get it, it's a win-win-win situation all around so like I say it isn't just uh, an idea oh oh you could use Minecraft to teach. it's a good idea for many underlying reasons and many times the underlying reasons are not explained. The pedagogical underpinnings are not explained, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Um, my background is I'm an instructional, well, was an instructional developer. I'm not anymore. 
Um, so <laughs> I'm not just someone who likes to play Minecraft. I'm not just a gamer, but I don't drag out all of that uh, academic claptrap. I'm here to tell stories. Uh, so, uh, but it doesn't mean that the academic claptrap isn't there. <laughs> it's just not in that format. So, um, so anybody who's interested in having those discussions, I'm more than willing uh, to to explain why it's a good idea. But I don't think that you're going to remember that as much as you're going to remember a story, an adventure that you had with Dakota which is not my real name, by the way. <laughs> no, it's not. This is just who I am in game because that's who you're dealing with in this thing. And so I don't think it's authentic for me to masquerade as that person in the real world because he's not here. Dakota is here. It's okay. You're Dakota to us. Dakota will do. And Dakota is all anybody who's dealt with me online knows. But again, there's a whole other story that goes with that. And anybody who's uh, interacted with me knows that I can't tell a short story anymore. <laughs> I've, I've lost the ability to edit. <laughs> all I can tell is long-winded uh, stories. So you have to interrupt and cut me off to get a word in edgewise. And that's okay. I make sense. We may have to cut this off because the video has been going for 45 minutes which is a good time for a video and we need to get to bed because it's coming on to about 10 30. but anyway is there anything else we we should do here before we leave i wanted to slip in a hint that anybody who's uh noticed my entries in the google calendar and thought, what the heck is going on with that? Um, there, a lot of them are four and six hour sessions. No, you're not expected to show up and stick around for four. Oh yeah, sessions. of course. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just logging the time that I'm spending in in game to let people know that I'm here uh, for long hours, and they're free to show up, do whatever they want regardless of whether they're interacting with me, but I'm here and available during those hours to be whatever resource they need, which sometimes is not not a resource, you know, and I'll leave you alone if that's what you want. Uh, I just usually will greet you when you come in and say, do you need anything? And, yeah, we do the same thing. Um, we When we find, we, we set up a time, we set up a two-hour time block tonight, and uh we're sort of we're you're usually kinder about it and give people several days advance notice and let them know what's going on whereas i'm not kind about it i'm i'm a tease i i i do it as i'm coming in or after i leave and i leave cryptic notes like you've missed something because <laughs> I, I think oh geez i would have liked to seen that what was that so that you'll investigate and come in because that's what i'm trying to do is trick you into coming in more <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, your uh, your style appeals to me and many people, and that's probably why most of us are in Minecraft is for that kind of thing. I, yes, I want people to see it as playful, not that I'm uh, actually, because uh, I'm not. I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> as, as part of our uh, EVO Minecraft, uh, Minecraft MOOC sessions, I've wanted to get you and your views into one of these, uh, into our archive. Archive. You had invited me a while ago, and I was a little slow in accepting that invitation. So since I was here, it's fun to see what you do. You do so much. Um, okay, so I think we're going to call it a night, and we could escape from here through teleport or going home or something like that. Yes, and your night is my morning, so that's, of course, why we don't overlap too often, but that's something else to point out to people that regardless of where they are in the world, there's usually somebody around. Yes, exactly. Um, if there's not somebody in the Minecraft world, check the Discord server. 
because uh, many times uh, some of us, like I live in Discord, it's on in the background uh, at my house most of the time. And if you give a show on Discord, uh, you might get, if you need help with something or have a question. <laughs> Watching the squids here. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks for playing. Yep, good to see you. Good to talk to you. Yeah, thank you for the tour. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's in Discord uh, virtually here. All right. This wasn't all the secrets, so there's still things to discover. Okay. Cool. The, the ice Backward. I'm sure you have a lot of other things you could show us. Oh, the, the flying saucer. It'd be interesting to go up there. That's your build, isn't it? Pyramid and the secret jungle village and... More is being built every day. And if you're interested in, in finding out how to make things like this for your own students or uh, interested in drier subjects like uh, how would I use structure blocks to do something, whatever you're interested in, we can help you out. So that was my approach as an instructional developer was was one on sessions where what's your problem? What do you need help with rather than what does the administration want me to do? help you with so whatever you do, we can give it to you so well that's why we're here and uh okay so that's an invitation to anybody watching this and for now i think bobby bear and i and dakota redstone uh our uh, grand mage of minecraft here is we're going to we're going to depart hi bark yeah, I'm going to hit the home home. Yep. Hey, bye, Dakota. Bye. bye. Thanks bye. for playing. Sure. Thank Thanks for being there. And there we are in our home. Uh huh. We're still in Discord. That's the last bit of advice. Remember to log out of Discord, otherwise it's an invasion of your privacy. So yes, that's true, yeah, to do that. I've got it here on the screen right now. I click mute there and the disconnect right there. And that's what I'm doing right now. So, well, yep, that's it. Good night. Good night. That was good advice because it's actually it was a good opportunity to show people how you leave Discord. Okay. Good night, all. From uh, Teacher Vance in Penang and Bobby Bear right over here. Hi, everybody. <laughs>